Yeah, All right, guys. Just thoughts on your draw, where you're going, who you're playing. Just. Well, yeah. I think it's a hard. You know, everybody's going to say they have a hard draw. I think we got a hard draw. You know, when when you think of of uh, uh, Sanford. You know, what have we labored with the most this year? It's teams that shoot a ton of threes, and then we have a hard time making up the difference. And they shoot 39% as a group. They've scored, they've hung over 100, one, two, three, four, five times this year. You know, I don't know if we've scored 95 times this year. Of course, I know the competition in some of those games is different, but, but uh, they can score. They shoot a ton of threes. They're five men. Obviously, makes 45% of his threes, and and so uh, it, it you know on paper looking at it, and, and not knowing all their personnel the way that we will here shortly, I'd say it's an extremely uh, 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 difficult matchup. Uh, so so uh, and then if you're fortunate enough to win the first one, then you you know uh, who is it in the second game? Gonzaga, yeah, and McNeese State's. You know, won 31 games, and Gonzaga is Gonzaga. So, so yeah, it's it, they're, they're, there's nothing easy about they what they what the the bracket that we're in. But I'm sure other four seeds probably feel the same thing in their respective brackets too. And do you have a health update on on Kevin and Hunter? Yeah, Hunt's doing great. Uh, uh, he's actually practiced the last two days non-contact. So we've done a lot of dry stuff so that way he could be out there. And then he'll go contact tomorrow. Kevin, I haven't seen uh, uh, do anything. That the, the entire game plan went on him was hopefully on Monday he can be good to go. And if he's not good to no go tomorrow, then he won't be. And then we'll hope on Tuesday. But but I don't I don't know as much about Kevin as I do Hunt. Coach, how familiar are you with Coach McMillan? His story is remarkable for Sanford. Are you? Do you know him at all? Have you no, ever? no, I don't. I, I, I don't know. Of course, I know of him, but I, I don't know uh, uh, Coach. Uh, 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 but I do know that you know he's obviously had some pretty good success there. And what have they won the league? Uh, uh, the last two years or three years? Last two years in the tournament this year. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, he's done a great job, and they let it fly. So I, I know one thing, he gives his kids confidence. And one other question, if I may. How, how frustrating is it, not just for you, but for coaches in general, to build something, and then because of injuries at the end of the year where you want to peak, sometimes it can be tough for anybody. Look at Houston with their front court. Yeah, and I don't know how bad Roberts is. Uh, uh, but I, I don't even did he even play in the second half yesterday after they got behind. Uh, of course, what a win by Iowa State! But you know, uh, uh, and then them losing the freshman early on. You know that totally. You know, it didn't deplete their front line, but it came close to it. Uh, and they're going to have to play small now. Uh, uh, but it, it, it's tough. Uh, uh, that's what depth does. You know, depth allows you to play through some of those things. What we saw happen to Florida today, even though I didn't see it. You know, I heard about it was, you know, tragic, and you, and you hate that. I mean, you just hate it for everybody, and certainly more for the individual than anybody else. But, you know, it's part of the sport. You know, if, if, if Mahomes gets hurt in weeks 16 or 17, it totally changes the outlook for the Chiefs, too. And, you know, that's just part of it, and, 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 and you, have to, you have to play through it. And, you know, we've, we've had our fair share this year. I've never had two All-Americans both be out at the same time. Uh, uh, but, you know, I know that, that we should be much better this week than what we have been. Where did you think they would seed you, and where did you think they would send you? And how do you feel about both of those things? Well, I, I, I didn't have any feel on where they would send us, none. Uh, I thought we'd be a four seed. Uh, 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 I think the thing that could have possibly thrown it off would be does does Wisconsin if they beat Illinois did they move up to the four line off the five line uh, you know there could be a couple of things like that happen but I I, I, I didn't think and then it would have impacted one of the fours I don't think it would have impacted us because they said we were 14th right so so 14th meaning we were the we were the uh, second four seed so so. Uh, I think we would have been safe on the four line, regardless. But I, there was, there wasn't any 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 chance in my mind that we'd be we'd be anything other than a four seed. What do you think about going to Salt Lake? A lot of years you go to Des Moines, Omaha. 
But you know why we go to those places, don't you? Because we're the high seed. So, so you, we get, you know, they, send, they actually send you a letter. If you're a one seed, where do you want to go? You know, if you're a two seed, where do you want to go? And we told them where we wanted to go. And, and uh, four seeds don't carry as much weight as the one seeds uh, uh, do. So, so uh, I think Salt Lake's fine. You know, we've been there before. It's a fantastic arena. And, and uh, so I, I, I think that's fine. I don't know what the altitude is in Salt Lake. Has anybody looked it up yet? And you guys are not, you guys are doing your job, huh? I know when K State played there, and they played a double or triple overtime game, the first game against against Xavier. Their coaches talked about how they were just gas when they had to go play. Yeah. But it's not near that much. It's not. It's 42, not. 65. Yeah, forty two is 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 not. 7,000 like Laramie or, or it's not like De Denver or anything like that. So I remember playing in, in uh, they could have been gas because of the double overtime game 2 nil. But but uh, 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 but I I remember playing there a couple of years ago and I don't remember that factoring in to the situation. What was the team's reaction in the room? Uh, I, th I think everybody was, you know, it's were we were we happy? We're happy that yeah, our names called the uh, 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 there's a lot of teams out there not happy right now, but but uh, I don't think there was much of a re reaction because I think it was pretty much expected. What was not ex what not known was just who you're playing or where you're playing them, and and cer certainly uh, you know Sanford got our attention right off the bat when I started seeing some of their stats and reading it to our guys. You're out early in the Big 12 tournament. Or earlier, or earlier, you used to be out earlier. With the longer time, does it feel like a reset button or something for you guys? That like, okay, kind of refreshed and ready to go. Into the I think I think so. You know, we've lost in the first round of the tournament. Uh, uh, you know, uh, when we were one seed and what year was that? Uh, uh, Seventeen. We lost in the first round when we were a one seed and ten. Uh, 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 so you know it's happened before. When I say one seed, I mean in the NCAA tournament. I don't. I, I think you know. I, I hate to say this, and I'm not trying to take away negativity, but those teams that celebrated today, that won their league championship, their celebration lasted for maybe less than an hour. Everybody has to reset and move on, and I think that's kind of what you're talking about. I think the I think the the, the league championships are great. Uh, and if you're going to play in the finals, you might as well win. That's how that's how I've always looked at it. And Iowa State should be ecstatic, but Iowa State was able to celebrate for 12 hours, and then it's over. I mean, nobody's going to talk about them beating Houston after today. Uh, uh, so, uh, whereas the NCAA tournament, obviously, from past experience, I know people talk about it longer than a day or two. So, we need to be our best now, and I, I think the time off was good for us. Coach, you played in a, a, a triple, wasn't it triple overtime game in the championship of the Big Eight, and then you had to play double you, overtime. Double overtime. Ninety-two, I think ninety-two to ninety. Yeah. How, how, how'd that affect you guys? Uh, uh, Going into the tournament. I don't, was, Neil. God, I was twenty-two years old back then. I drank a lot of beer between since uh, between then and now. Uh, uh, I can't remember uh, how it affected us. I know that we lost in the in the first round in the next game. In Corvallis, but I'm not sure it had anything to do with with uh, 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 winning that tournament. I think it had more to do with we probably celebrated longer than the 12 hours that was prescribed as the proper amount of time to celebrate. Coach, a couple of teams from the league did not make it that were on the bubble. Obviously, Oklahoma we saw, I guess, was the first team out, but then also Kansas State. What's your reaction to that? Uh, I, I uh, you know, I. I, I I'm not in on the no, but you know, obviously Oklahoma would have been in if there hadn't been so many upsets to yesterday and today. I mean, they 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 were talking, and I, you guys heard the same thing I did that five teams made the tournament that would not have made it that played in their championship game. So that you know that knocks off some people, uh, uh, and usually there's maybe one or two, three at the most that that happens a year or two. So I feel bad for OU for sure. K State, uh, uh, obviously, you know they beat us uh, over at their place this year, and and uh, everything. I, I I didn't study it enough to know exactly. Exactly where they stood, but everything I saw with Oklahoma uh, was that they, they were in until today, and then that that's got to be heartbreaking for those kids. As you enter the postseason, you guys have been ranked in the top 10, 12 almost all year. A little bit, you've had 
lost four out of five. Where do you stand on this team? How confident are you they can make a run? Oh, I think we're, I think we can make a run. I think we can still play great basketball. I, I think we will. Uh, uh, I think there there's been you know you, teams deal with different things that uh, the public will never know the things that you're dealing with because they're all in house. And so I think uh, with our depth situation, I think some things in house, s- some things that have occurred have been magnified to make them maybe a bigger deal uh, uh, than what it actually is. And so I think a, a chance to reset and and, and, and get focused and, and a chance to get more healthy, I think will will go a long ways with how, go, go, go a long ways uh, uh, for how we play moving forward. And certainly, we, you know, we, we put ourselves in a, you know, we didn't put ourselves in the best position, but there's a lot of teams out there that would love to be in the position that we're in. Who do you like as a possible national champion? Any obvious favorites? Well, there's some one seeds out there, I think, that would be favored uh, uh, because they're one seeds. But, you know, who knows? There may be a four seed out there that can make a run. I think last year there was, and I don't think anybody played them to single digits the whole tournament. So we'll see what happens. Anything else? Bill, can you tell if this team is more confident shooting the ball in practice, or is that something that you're going to need to see happen against Samford to really know? Uh, Yeah, I think that... uh, uh, I think that when we get Hunter back, I think he automatically gives you confidence. You know, he's he, he he's different that way, and and he'll give us more this time of year than ever. Uh, uh, but you know, to case in point, you know, you got to step up. You got to you got to make more than what we've done. You know, we we made uh, I don't want to misspeak. I think six for our last 43, 42, something like that, uh, and a couple of those were by walk-ons. So that's not exactly, you know, lighten it up. But but uh, uh, I know that we're better than that, and we'll sh- we'll shoot it better. I I I I am uh, concerned uh, always about you know it comes down to making shots. But the bottom line is, a lot of times it's easier to keep somebody from doing something than it is you actually doing it yourself. And you know that's the way shooting is sometimes. You know you defend the arc, you you know you don't have to make as many threes. <laughs> You've obviously got a couple guys with national title game experience and that kind of thing, but you've also got five, I think, five or six guys that haven't played in the tournament before. Does that factor? Do you have to do different prep for those guys? Obviously freshmen, but Nick also and, and guys well, like that. Well, there, there would be uh, Nick and El Marco and Jamari, Johnny, and uh, Parker. Right. Did Parker? I don't yeah, think I Parker know. has yeah. either. So, so that's five guys. Uh, uh, I don't know that we'll prep differently, but we'll certainly show them enough stuff where they'll have a pretty good feel what it's all about. Did you see any extra reaction, especially Nick? Like, you know, he big part of the reason he came here, he wanted to play in the tournament. Yeah, we talked about that a lot yesterday. Uh, 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 we, we had a little team outing yesterday, and we talked a lot about that. And, and Nick's, Nick pointed out that that was one of the biggest reasons why he came here was to play in the tournament. And I said, well, you can, you can play in it or... And it can, or it can, you can play in it and have it be a, a lasting memory. You know, uh, the thing about it is, at the end of the season, when it's over, it comes so abruptly, for everybody. And and uh, you know what you want to do, you just want to delay that as long as you possibly can. Anything else? Thanks, coach. All right, guys. <laughs> Good.